দর্শক মণ্ডলী আসসালামু আলাইকুম কেমন আছেন আজ আমরা আমাদের সাথে পেয়েছি ডক্টর সুন্দর শঙ্করাম তিনি একজন প্রথিত যথা কিডনি বিশেষজ্ঞ কিডনি প্রতিস্থাপন শৈল্য চিকিৎসক অর্থাৎ কিডনি ট্রান্সপ্ল্যান্ট সার্জন ভারতবর্ষের একজন বিখ্যাত সার্জন তার সাথে আজকে আমরা সিরিজ আকারে কথা বলবো বিভিন্ন বিষয় নিয়ে আর সেটির আজকে প্রথমে কথা বলবো যে এই ভারতবর্ষে বাংলাদেশ সহ কিডনি রোগীর সংখ্যা কেন বাড়ছে কিভাবে আমরা আমাদের কিডনির ক্ষতি করছি আসুন আমরা তার মুখ থেকেই এই ডিসকাশনটুকু শুনি আপনাদের কাছে ভালো লাগলে আপনারা শেয়ার করবেন আসুন আমরা তার সাথে কথা বলি when i joined the christian medical college uh, in 1982 very few people actually knew about kidney disease even in india nobody knew about kidney failure everybody with kidney failure will probably have heart failure and die and heart was more popular than kidney but then it so happened uh, in uh, 1982 83 a famous uh, politician and uh, famous actor called mgr mg ramachandra was a very is a matney idol he got kidney failure and the whole of tamil nadu where uh, CMC Vellore, Christian Medical College Vellore's base, uh, came to know about kidney failure. And he was actually airlifted from the Apollo Hospital, which had just started, to New York, to Downstate Medical Center, and he had a kidney transplant. His physicians were uh, uh, Dr. T.K.S. Rao, L.I. Friedman, and the surgeon who did the transplant for him was a Pakistani-American doctor, Dr. Khalid Butt, who did the transplant. And then he came back after the, the knowledge of kidney failure in, increased so i think one is now i think kidney failure was there even earlier but awareness now people are aware so more diagnosis that is one reason but in the indian subcontinent that which includes you know uh, bangladesh pakistan sri lanka all that what i find is 40 years ago uh, i didn't see much of diabetes as a cause of kidney failure in the last 20 25 years we look at my transplant dialysis figures more than half is due to diabetes mellitus. Now, in India, we are now claiming that we are going to be the largest, most populated country in the world. I understand we are overtaking China slowly, soon. We are also the largest or the capital of diabetes, diabetic capital of India, or the world, I would say. Uh, some rough figures uh, in India tell us every fifth, di- fifth Indian is a diabetic. Every fifth Indian. Every fifth diabetic is an Indian. And one third of all diabetes, you must understand, 30% of all diabetics eventually will land up in kidney failure. So 50% of all kidney failure in my practice is diabetes mellitus or high blood sugar. The second comes, we have something called nephritis or glomerular nephritis. We don't know what is the cause. I call it GOK. There are many causes, infection and other things. But there is also, I think, what I would say is, uh, you know, uh, lifestyle change. Slowly, you know, from uh, we are going from our traditional diet into a Western diet. Uh, you like call it, I call it the McDonald diet, the American diet. So that is also adding to that. Salt, sugar. Salt and sugar are poison, according to me. Smoking. Slowly, the American population smoking is down. In fact, 30, 40 years ago, if you smoke, you were, uh, uh, you know, you're a hero. And uh, all the Western movies, Hollywood movies, everybody would smoke, the medical school. But now in America, my cousins, even if you touch a cigarette, you are treated like a leper, you're thrown out of the house. But in India, still, smoking is there. And surprisingly, the women are smoking more. I go to the pub, I see a lot of young women smoking. They say they feel they want to be equal. So that is adding to the problem. So diabetes, that is sugar, salt, high blood pressure, stress, and the diet, which causes the problem. One other thing which we have found out in the Indian subcontinent, including Sri Lanka, is something to do with the water pollution. Some heavy metals, you know, the agriculture land, pesticides. And in some villages, we find high incidence of kidney failure. Families have kidney failure. Something to do with the water contamination, we don't know. That research is still going on. We call this a kidney disease of unknown origin. CKDU, we call it. So we'll come to that as we go on. But basically, I would say sugar, salt, which causes the main problem, if you can cut down on... So, in fact, we have a term now. Uh, chini come, there is less sugar, namak come, less salt. These two are going to help us. Then we'll go down with the discussion. Yes, how, about, how about medicines so like NSAID? The, uh, now people use it for simple headache, diclofenac, naproxen, ibuprofen. Is, is it common? 
Absolutely. This is, I call it, you know, and, uh, you know, one of my teachers was there in uh, Velour and he would say, there are four days which cause kidney failure. He would say, you would say one was diarrhea, you know, dehydration, diarrhea, which causes kidney failure. Other is diabetes. Then the third was dangerous snakes. In the villages in India, still, you know, snake bite could cause kidney failure. The fourth is doctors and drugs. So we are also responsible. We doctors cause a lot of kidney failure. And the drugs, as you rightly said, painkillers, you know, they not only kill the pain, they kill the kidneys. Interesting study, you know, in India, uh, we have a community called the Parsis, you know, they are Zoroastrians. When the Parsis die, their body is not burnt or buried. They are actually thrown to the vultures. So the vulture will feed down the body. Exactly. The last 20, 30 years, the vulture population in India has gone, decimated. Do you know why? Because, you know, what has happened, the veterinary doctors are using a lot of diclofenac on the uh, Animals. livestock, like, you know, Animals. the cow, the buffalo. So these are highly polluted with diclofenac. The vultures eat this carcass and the vultures get kidney failure and the vultures disappear. So it's a natural calamity. Now the Parsis, what they're doing, they're actually breeding vultures in separate centers so that they can dispose of the body in a natural way. So this itself is a lesson for us that the painkiller is dangerous. In fact, the safest painkiller in my experience is paracetamol, which is the safest, which is sold in the US as Tylenol or Panadol. Or paracetamol is the safest. But again, that again should be used in limited doses. If you use high dose of paracetamol, you can have liver failure. You will not get kidney problem. You'll get liver failure, and, but very high doses. But safe analgesic is paracetamol. Definitely diclofenac, NSI, what is it? But unfortunately, you know, the uh, surgeons, they are the one, in my opinion, you know, they always, the orthopedic surgeon, dentist, they, in spite of me writing, no NSIs, they always give diclofenac, ibuprofen. But to be honest, between you and me, the best painkiller is an aside. <laughs> if you have real information, it's pain. Yeah. So, even there, I think only when you're taking it in large quantity. No. You yeah. take one or two doses of ibuprofen, especially, you know, during the COVID time, one of my colleagues did a study from Chennai uh, using endomethacin. You know, he used, tried endomethacin in COVID and he found the syndrome of, you know, the uh, cytokine release was much less and many of his patients with endomethacin never went into ventilator. So, yeah. there are certain advantages of using these drugs, but it has to be done under prescription. It cannot be, in my opinion, NSI should not be an OTC drug. Yeah. Whatever it is, it should yeah. be under prescription. Under supervision, doctor supervision that gave it. Um, um, two more uh, things I want to emphasize. How uh, Do you have any experience with ghoul? Woman, man, put it under the tongue, some tamak uh, churni, and keep it there. Mm -hmm. and that get those. Uh, this must have some effect also. Yeah, I think that because I think they have, you know, uh, more of tobacco. In India, exactly. it is like tobacco. Yeah. That more causes the cancer, you know, mouth cancer. Yeah, exactly. Rather than kidney failure. But okay. One other thing which I must mention in our Indian context also is the alternate medicine. You know, somebody is, goes to ask kidney failure, they, they take alternate, alternate medicine, uh, native medicine, which actually contain heavy metals. Yeah. And they can go into kidney failure. And one of the heavy metals which is used uh, in, uh, in India uh, for, you know, uh, erectile dysfunction and importance is gold. They use gold thinking that gold will make you more potent. And I see quite a few kidney failures because of this uh, gold-induced kidney failure, which is known uh, because of this uh, uh, native medicine uh, treatment. So we should be aware of that. I see. I see. So um, they call it alternative medicine, Ayurveda. Ayurveda, homeopathy. Is a lot of homeopathy, I would say, in my opinion, homeopathy is relatively safe. Because yeah. I always say any drug which has got an effect will have side effect. Yeah. Homeopathy has no side effect because it has no effect. <laughs> <laughs> one of the main things i would consider is the extra salt that we have table salt extra yes. to make absolutely. it tasty absolutely the table salt adding salt is uh, indian culture or subcontinent culture we always which is not to be done in fact indian food or the bangladesh food itself has got a lot of salt the other thing is salt in packaged food you know whether you take you know these yeah, uh, chips frozen food and uh even uh, you know the uh, the uh, chips and other you know all these yeah, uh, yeah. chips which come in, they all contain a lot of salt. Exactly. Even like your uh, ketchups and tomato sauce, or all, all of them contain extra salt. In fact, we are now suggesting to the government tell exactly how much sodium is there. Yeah. People get confused with salt. They understand sodium chloride, uh, and they must actually say how much sodium chloride. Normally, you know, salt we need uh, Indian uh, cooking. Uh, it goes up to 8 to 12 grams. Common Indian takes every day. But we need only 4 to 5 grams. That's all we need. So, in fact, most patients, I tell them, without salt, 
and add salt on the table. In fact, we have known what is called salt tablets. You know, we have 500 milligram tablets which you can use so they can measure and actually use uh, on the table. That's what we suggest. Yes. Um, great, doctor. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, let me uh, describe in, uh, in 30 seconds in Bengali for our viewers what sure. you, we emphasized. Sure. Um, please be with us. Thank you. Uh, um, যে টুকু না বললেই নয় বাংলায় ডাক্তার সুন্দর সংখরান জিটি বললেন যে বর্তমানে ডায়াবেটিস হচ্ছে কিডনি নষ্ট করার মেইন মূল কারণ এরপর রয়েছে গ্লোমেরুলোনেফ্রাইটিস অর্থাৎ এটিও একটি রোগ যেটি ত্বকের ইনফেকশন এবং গলার টনসিলের ইনফেকশন থেকে সেটি কিডনিকে নষ্ট করে এরপর সেটি যেটি মূল কারণ সেটি হচ্ছে জীবন প্রণালী অর্থাৎ আমাদের খাদ্যের মধ্যে আমরা মাত্রাতিরিক্ত লবণ খাচ্ছি টেবিলের মধ্যে আমরা লবণ আনছি এটি মোটেও গ্রহণযোগ্য নয় মাত্রাতিরিক্ত সুগার সেটি চিনি আকারে হোক বা ব্রেড আকারে হোক বা চালের মতো চাল আকারেই হোক সেটি ধূমপানও ঠিক নয় তারপর ওয়াটার পলিউশনের সাথে হচ্ছে সেটি সেটিও সাবধান হওয়া উচিত ব্যথা নাশক ঔষধ যেমন ডাইক্লোফেনাক আইবুপ্রোফেন মৌফিন ইন্ডোম্যাথাসিন এই ঔষধগুলো নিজেরা যেন না খান এটি অবশ্যই ডাক্তারের তত্ত্বাবধানে খাওয়া উচিত আবার কিছু কিছু আয়ুর্বেদিক ঔষধ আছে যেগুলো লম্বা সময় খেলে সেটি হয় মূল কথা হচ্ছে আপনাকে আপনার সচেতন হতে হবে যে কিডনি ড্যামেজ হবার চান্স আছে সেটি সচেতন হলেই এটি সম্ভব নিজেকে রক্ষা করা ধন্যবাদ ডাক্তার সুন্দর সংকরণ আপনাকে পাশে পাওয়ার জন্য আমরা दर्शक मंडल आशा करी आज के डिसकाशनगुल भलो लेगे भलो लगले शेयर करुक्त थार्जन आपन असंख्य धन्यवाद यतक्षण अपन साथी छिल डाक्त फिरदोस खंदकार